Hello, my name is Gary, and I was raised in the Western United States, so I'm a native English speaker. I hope that you will enjoy this YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. Still Life with Apples and a Pot of Primroses by Paul Cezanne, painted in 1890, is a captivating exploration of form, color, and texture, inviting viewers to delve into the beauty of everyday objects. At the center of the composition, a cluster of apples commands attention, their smooth, rounded shapes rendered with meticulous attention to detail. Cezanne's treatment of the apples is both tender and precise. Each apple bears a unique combination of colors and textures, from the vibrant reds and yellows to the subtle shifts in shading and highlighting. The arrangement of the apples is carefully orchestrated, with each one positioned to create a sense of rhythm and balance within the composition. Some apples rest serenely against the table, while others appear to balance delicately on the edge, creating a dynamic interplay of form and space. Amidst the apples sits a pot of primroses, their delicate blossoms adding a touch of vibrancy to the scene. The contrast between the soft, rounded forms of the apples and the angular forms of the pot creates a visual harmony that enhances the overall composition. The atmosphere of still life with apples and a pot of primroses is one of tranquility and serenity with soft, diffuse light casting a gentle glow over the scene. Shadows play across the surface of the table, adding depth and dimension to the composition, while also creating a sense of intimacy and warmth. Through his masterful portrayal of light, color, and form, Cezanne invites the viewers to experience the beauty of every day in a profound and meaningful way. Still Life with the Curtain, 1895, by Paul Cezanne, presents a captivating arrangement where apples, a curtain and a vase converge to create a scene of quiet elegance. The apples arrange in a cluster upon the table, command attention with their vibrant colours and varied shapes. Each apple is carefully rendered, from the smooth surface of its skin to the subtle variations in hue and texture. Some apples may appear ripe and plump, while others may show signs of wear or bruising, adding to the realism and depth of the composition. Besides the apples, the curtain cascades gracefully over a nearby chair. It folds and creases, meticulously depicted. The fabric appears soft and billowy, caught in a gentle breeze or perhaps disturbed by the movement of the surrounding space. Amidst the arrangement, a bar stands as a central vocal point, its smooth surface reflecting the ambient light and casting subtle shadows upon the table. The vase with its ornate design adds to the overall balance and harmony of the composition. Through his masterful manipulation of light, colour and form, Cezanne transforms these ordinary objects into subjects of contemplation and reflection inviting viewers to find beauty in the simplicity of everyday life. The Great Pine, circa 1899-1900, by Paul Cezanne, is a captivating landscape painting that places emphasis on the majestic pine tree and the surrounding natural environment. Dominating the composition, the pine tree stands tall and proud, its trunk commanding attention with its rugged texture and winding shapes. Cezanne's brushwork captures the essence of the tree's bark, revealing intricate patterns and subtle variations in color that evoke a sense of age and wisdom. The branches of the pine tree extend outward, reaching towards the sky with a sense of graceful movement while its lush foliage adds a burst of vibrant green to the scene. Surrounding the central pine tree, a dense forest of trees stretches into the distance, their forms blending seamlessly into the landscape. 
The land beneath the trees is depicted with earthy tones and subtle fluctuations, conveying a sense of tranquility and harmony with nature. As viewers gaze upon the great pine, they are transported into a world of natural beauty and quiet contemplation. The Lake at Annecy, a masterpiece crafted by Paul Cezanne circa 1896, immerses viewers in a tranquil oasis of natural splendor. At the heart of the composition lies the tranquil expanse of Lake Annecy, its crystal clear waters reflecting the azure sky above and the verdant foliage that surrounds it. Along the shoreline, Towering trees rise majestically, their branches reaching towards the heavens. Each tree is meticulously rendered with intricate details that bring them to life on the canvas. The lush foliage provides a vibrant contrast to the calm waters below, filling the scene with a sense of vitality and energy. Nestled among the trees are clusters of charming houses their rustic facades adding a touch of human presence to the natural landscape. These humble dwellings seem to blend harmoniously with their surroundings, their earthy tones reflecting the colours of the land and the sky. Against the backdrop of the tranquil lake and the verdant trees, the houses radiate a feeling of peace and serenity. The lake at Annecy is an invitation to pause and contemplate the beauty of the natural world. Through Cezanne's skilled hand, viewers are transported to a place of quietude and reflection, where the harmony of nature unfolds before their eyes. 